वेलकम टू क्विक लिटरेचर एकेडमी सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर लिटरेचर वीडियोस टू सी अ वर्ल्ड इन अ ग्रेन ऑफ सैंड एंड द हेवन इन अ वाइल्ड फ्लावर होल्ड इन्फिनिटी इन द पाम ऑफ योर हैंड एंड एटर्निटी इन एन आर दिस इज बाय ब्लेक फ्रॉम ऑगरीज ऑफ इनोसेंस विलियम ब्लेक वॉज बॉर्न ऑन ट्वेंटी नवंबर सेवनटीन इन लंडन द थर्ड ऑफ फाइव चिल्ड्रन हिज फादर जेम्स वॉज अ होजियर and could only afford to give william enough schooling to learn the basics of reading and writing though for a short time he was able to attend a drawing school run by henry parr william worked in his father's shop until his talent for drawing became so obvious that he was apprenticed to engraver james basir at age 14 he finished his apprenticeship at age 21 and set out to make his living as an engraver Blake married Catherine Boucher at age 25 and she worked with him on most of his artistic creations together they published a book of Blake's poems and drawings called Songs of Innocence Blake engraved the words and pictures on copper plates a method he claimed he received in a dream and Catherine colored the plates and bound the books Songs of Innocence sold slowly during Blake's lifetime indeed Blake struggled close to poverty for much of his life. More successful was a series of copper plate engravings Blake did to illustrate the book of Job for a new edition of the Old Testament. Blake did not have a head for business and he turned down publishers request to focus on his own subjects. In his choice of subject, Blake was often guided by his gentle mystical views of Christianity. Songs of Innocence 1794 was followed by Milton 1804 to 1808 and Jerusalem 1804 to 1820 in 1800 Blake gained a patron in William Haley who commissioned him to illustrate his life of copper and to create busts of famous poets for his house in Feltham Surrey while at Feltham Blake was involved in a bizarre episode which could have proven disastrous He was accused by a drunken soldier of cursing the king and on this testimony he was brought to a trial for treason the case against blake proved flimsy and he was cleared of the charges blake poured his whole being into his work the lack of public recognition sent him into a severe depression which lasted from 1810 to 1817 and even his close friends thought him insane unlike painters like gainsborough Blake worked on a small scale most of his engravings are little more than inches in height yet the detailed rendering is superb and exact in 1825 Blake was commissioned to illustrate divine comedy by dante but he died before he could complete the task william blake died on august 12 1827 and is buried in an unmarked grave at bunhill fields london thanks for watching do like and subscribe Comment below if you want a video on some topic all the best